Okay, so Okay, so I had to come down to Sanua for the uh, to the bank. I just thought I'd do a, a bit of a run. It's about it's 20 to 12, so we'll just see what it's like down uh, the main street here of uh, of Sanua at the moment. Um, a few little shops open. Most of the places are open now. Um, a couple of places don't open till um, what, 12 o'clock. Well, these places on the left and what have you, they're not open. We've got Jimmy's over here, it doesn't open till 12 o'clock. Hey, bro. Tell me the indicator lights off. That's the second time we've been picked up for that. It's, uh, the old memories going. So as you can see, most of the places are open. A lot of people are there, but it's still early. It's not really lunchtime for the foreigners. And um, most engineers, it's, uh, most engineers, it's come out. Uh, don't come out in the midday sun, so. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, as we see down here, there's a few uh, a few massage parlours open. These are all pretty legit massage parlours. You get in the other end of town, a little bit different. These barley shirts, they have some nice shirts in there. Bought a couple myself, pretty expensive, but they're a nice shirt. As you can see, there's not a lot of traffic here. And uh, this is an interesting place. It's uh, this complex that's being built here. A couple of big cranes there and uh, parking for 700 motorcycles. Yeah, a couple of um, couple of cinemas in there and accommodation. Obviously a lot of restaurants. Old guy over there, look at the house. And as you can see, most places are open. And uh, what a beautiful day. Probably around 28, 29 degrees at the moment. No breeze around. A little bit of breeze up here in the trees. But yeah, not a lot of traffic around at the moment, which is good. Makes the drive down here pretty nice. Got nice shops along here, have a little take away to the joint. There's the rib. Nobody in the rib at the moment. Satrian Hotel. Greer Satrian. Got another spa joint here. This makes me laugh up here. There's uh, they opened one shop, a Pedos, I think it's called. And uh, after being open for a year, Alpha Mart there, that opened up and Indo Mart right alongside it. So they got three mini markets right alongside one another. This is a pretty common thing that happens here in, uh, in Indonesia. Somebody sees somebody making a bit of a killing, so they uh, open up next door. You know, you could have gone down the street a bit. But that's their philosophy. Can't get over how nice a day it is down here. Few tourists around.
the supermarket down here. It's a pretty good judgment of um, of uh, how many people are out and about, or the economy. If you have a look and see how many motorbikes are in the car park. And there's uh, there's a few there. That's usually chock a block full, but. I can remember that was called Hardy's. Uh, it's got a different name now. I can't pronounce it. Um, but Hardy's it, it used to be uh, you know, before the COVID. It was uh, chock a block, very popular place. But, uh, since then, it hasn't been hasn't been that place. There's another couple of big supermarkets opened up around the place. Probably takes a bit out of it. Grand Lucky is one of them here, and uh, down on the bypass, just near where I started this video. So, quite a few, uh, few foreigners walking around. Get down here a bit further, see what happens. So that's the main part of town. Still a few, still, excuse me. Still a few uh, hotels and resorts along here. We're all between here and the beach. The beach is the next one over. And up here along this this way through here, very nice drive. It's uh, it's a Hyatt. Got a few quid, that's where you can stay. And a little restaurant over there. I don't know what sort of restaurant it is. But they developed this little area here, a little park here on the side. I don't know whether that's part of um, part of the, uh, the Hyatt or not, but it's uh, a little park. All these cars you see along here are usually drivers waiting for a fare. A lot of them invested their money in new motor cars and uh, COVID hit them. They're all begging for money now. now this is the opening here of, uh, of the Hyatt main entrance. Hyatt Regency. Joint. As we come up here past the Hyatt, there's a lane, or what they call a gang, heading down alongside it, and that leads to the beach and a hell of a lot of nice little restaurants down there. And it's, uh, hello. Yeah. A few bikes around here. They're all staff in these. Uh, these facilities here. Yeah, we'll get past this snap in here. Uh, Circle K there. The Arbyan Hotel. Indian food, I don't know how good that is. There's been a few bad reports about Indian food here. Probably one of the best businesses in Sanua is uh, this one here. Massimo, Massimo. Look at the ice cream, that's an ice cream counter there. Generally, later on in the afternoon, that will be full. I've, uh, I've never been past there, this hasn't been, been uh, anybody there. Okay, so that's the end of the main street. Goes on to Tamara there, Joe and Tamara. Now we'll go down here. Um, there's a couple of nice hotels down this way, um, and they've all been revamped. But, um, this is an area they call Semawang which is still part of Sanua Beach or Sanua. All these motorbikes here are all staff. What a 
pretty difficult to ride here with one ear. I'll come back. Come barley, eh? Now here's the holiday inn. We face Intercontinental, which is uh, also a pretty flash joint. Got the money. Jeez, we've got a motorbike here today. I want to bring you down here. There's a restaurant that I was told about. I've been here for a couple of cups of coffee, but um, I've been told there's a swimming pool on the top, so we'll go and have a look at that. I'll just park this bike somewhere. We'll go and have a look. Oh, skinny. Okay, so here we are. Oh, there's a few people here. Looks nice. This is where a lot of dive boats leave from here. There you go, Pentai, Pentai Semawang. It's in black, I don't know why that is in black. but And I noticed that the government have told them to, uh, whenever they have signs up, they have to do it in Balinese. Whee! Sorry. He yeah, got run over then uh, in Balinese script, and uh, I asked a few Balinese what different script meant in different places, and they didn't have a clue. So, uh, so there you go. So this is the uh, this is the restaurant here. Quite a nice layout. Stuja di Pentai di. Oh, D is. Yeah, there's a few people here. Look at that. They're, they're, um, a lot of Indonesians there. No food or drinks from outside. Let's go and have a little quick browse through here. See if we can attract anyone's attention. So there you go, there's the beach, and uh, I guess a lot of the dive boats are out at the moment. It's uh, quite a nice, quite a nice area. And it looks like a bit of a bar that they hang out at night. Or... I have seen on the internet there's places here, they brought a big... Uh, there was a boat up here, I think, up in this area here. It had a band playing on it. I get out of here before I get run over by something. Here we go up here. We'll see what's happening. There's the cashier. Oh, he's got to be good friends. Oh, look at this. this uh, Croissants and chocolate torsade or torsadi, vanilla muffins. Very good. Hello, darling. How are you? Hey, is it upstairs open? No, not yet. It's closed. What you want to see is okay. What time is it open? Four o'clock. Oh, it opens at four. A bit cold for swimming. Yes, yeah, swimming pool open. Yeah. Okay, I'll go and have a look. Just for a look? 
Yeah, just look there. So it doesn't open until four o'clock, so we'll go up and have a look. Colourful stairs, no handrails for an old bloke. Okay, here we go. Well, there you go, look at this. Little bar area there. Seating for one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Seating for quite a few people up here. And there's the pool. What a what a top idea. It's nice to come and uh, have a few drinks here and nice view. Very nice. That pool would probably fit everybody that came up here. Nice open air, nice breeze. Quite impressed. I don't know why they don't open it during the day, so like now, people can go for a swim. It's four o'clock. Very nice. You wouldn't expect to see that, would you? Like a bit of an area here that they could probably be a bandstand or a couple of people playing some instru instruments and having a sing song. Yeah, sensational. There's nobody here in the bar, I could probably pour myself a drink. All right, we'll venture down and uh, I'll have a cup of coffee. Seeing that, let me come up here and have a look. All these stairs in Indonesia, different sizes everywhere you go. No standards. Whoop! <laughs> no height standards either. Set me head. That's better. Hi guys, come to Sudja di Pantai. Our restaurant is nice, near to the beach. You and can see anything. See you again. Where do you come from? I'm from Bali. Yeah, di mana Bali? Karangasem. Karangasem. Yes. East Bali. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, I'm going to have uh, cappuccino, eh, Ken? Hot, hot or ice? Well, hot, please. Hot cappuccino. Where yeah. do you want to sit? On a seat. Where do you want to sit in here? <laughs> or in the beach? No, I sit here, it's okay. okay. I clear up first. Okay, this one's clean. Yes. Yeah, I sit there. Tari, bring me uh, um, bring me menu. I just showed a menu on the... Tari, my newfound friend. Namaste, Rick. Rick, nice to meet you. You think so? Rick. Yeah. You think? Good. Nice to meet me? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Love confusing. Okay, you can get breakfast here. Prices do not include tax of 10% and service charge 5%. So, a big breakfast. Eggs, hash brown, side salad, beef, bacon, chicken sausage, seared herb, chicken, and well, there you go, 75. That's about $7.50. So the cheapest one there is the classic pancake. No, you can read that or not. Classic pancake. 45. A fresh fruit platter, it's 45, it's four dollars fifty, roughly. From six till eleven a.m. So yeah, Be nice coming for a walk down here and uh, the uh, athletic thing in the mornings, and then have a nice breakfast. Kids' food, salad, 
pasta, fettuccine, 72, that looks nice. seen anything over a hundred yet so snacks tahu talor talor means eggs um, chicken spring rolls 40 served with sweet and spice sauce veggie spring rolls add-ons you got add-ons there Desserts, hot coffee. I don't see any main meals there. Where did I skip that? It's all about drinks here. Yeah, let's go in this next one. No, all drinks. Let's go back again and have a look. That's the breakfast one. Kids, salad, pasta. Oh, main courses, there you go. What's SDP mean? I don't know what SDP mean. Special burger, beef patty, cheddar cheese, caramelized onion. Driver's a choice of fries and salad, 95, so there you go. The hamburger is close to uh, $10, that's $9.50 for a hamburger. Chicken satays, doesn't say how many you get by the looks of that, there's three on that plate there. Beef bayo buns, what's a bayo bun? Anybody tell me? Back me guignol, guignol. Sauteed guignol beef fat. Oh, well, there you go. You want some beef fats? Guignol. Back me means uh, grilled, like grilled stuff. Nasi goring, 55. Yeah, the prices are, for the mains are a little bit high, but other than that, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty fair, I guess. Especially for the layout here the, and the, the ambience. Or ambience, whatever they want to call it, of the place. Very nice. Good staff, friendly staff. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I was waiting for my coffee and uh, hope you enjoyed that little stint. That's as far as I'm going today. This, by the way, this is a nice little beach down here. I would say at high tide, if you have a look at the seaweed there, but a um, whole lot of uh, sunbeds there and it's it's not that busy, so not a bad little place. The tide's out at the moment, so it'll be a nice place. I know you can get a beer down there, I've had a couple of beers down there and sit and sunbaking in my earlier days, but now the results are showing up, I'm uh, not uh, overly keen on it. All right, well, we'll leave it there and I uh, hope you all have a nice uh, nice day and hope you uh, get to Bali and come down to Sonora here to this place. All along all along this beachfront there's nice little restaurants, so, you know, you've got a big choice to make. But, uh, for the moment, I've made this one as a choice for the day. And, uh, yeah, happy days. All right, so uh, we'll catch you. Okay, so that's uh, that's about it for the day. Uh, pretty exhausted after that little trip uh, down the road, one-handed, pretty brave. But the traffic wasn't that bad, so it was okay. So all right, we'll uh, we'll leave it there, and um, hopefully we'll catch you later on another video that I'll get the energy to do. And uh, till then. All the best.